Welcome to Next.js and NodeMail, an open source module for Node.js that makes it easy to send emails from your server-side applications. Today I'm going to show you how to send emails for free using NodeMail with Gmail as our emailing service. For this tutorial we're going to use a simple form that takes the username and the user's email address and send them to our backend which will handle the email sending part. If you want to follow along, the code is on my GitHub, Caesar Develops. Before setting up the backend, let's first send a request from our client side. To do this, we're gonna create a function called onFormSubmitted that takes in an event which is a React form event that we're gonna use to prevent the browser from refreshing every time we submit the form. This is particularly useful if you want to show a model to tell the user that their email is sent successfully. Next up, we're gonna use the built-in function fetch to send a post request to this endpoint that we're gonna create just now. This request is gonna contain the name and the email from the form. And then we just wanna handle the response from the server. After this, we're gonna set up our backend. To do this, we're gonna go to our app directory from Next.js, create a folder called API, and inside that folder, create another folder called Send Email. Lastly, inside the Send Email folder, create a file called route.ts. Now, open the file. This is where we're gonna set up our backend. Firstly, you want to install NodeMailer by using npm install NodeMailer. And inside your route file, you want to import NodeMailer. And then you want to import next response from next server. After that, let's initialize our post method, which is going to be an async function, which takes in a request. And then we're going to define the body where we pass the request as a JSON object. Now, let's set up the message object. The message object has values, which is the from value, to, subject, HTML, and headers. The from value, which is a string, sets the name of the sender. The to value, which can be a string or a list of strings. This is where you put the emails of the people you want to send messages to. And then we have the subject of the email, followed by the body of the email, which is formatted in HTML. And lastly, the headers, which contain metadata for the email. Next up, we're gonna set up the transporter. It's an email sending engine for NodeMailer. It defines which method NodeMailer will use to send emails. In our case, we're gonna use Gmail. And for this to work, we need to set up a password with Google. Google has what they call app passwords. To set up your own app password, you need two-factor authentication enabled in your Google account. And these are the steps to do that. Now, a quick note, every time you change your Google account password, all your app passwords will be removed and then you have to come back and set new ones. After you're done setting up your app password, copy it and paste it in your .env file. Also, add your email address. After that's done, we add them to our transporter and authentication. The TLS, which is the transport layer security, tells the transporter not to fail if it tries to send emails from a host that doesn't have valid certificates. Avoid using this in production. After the setup is done, we're just gonna call the send mail method from the transport. In all your Next.js API methods, make sure you return the response by saying return next response to JSON, passing the message and the status. And that's how you set up node mailer in Next.js. 